Mommy Pop. Who's he talking to? It's the Dai Lo, man. It's the chairman. Mommy Pop. Mommy Shando. Wait. You're coming with me. Looks like you're gonna meet Uncle Po. The rest of you, wait here. Don't do anything until you hear from me. What's going on? You are staying here like I told you. And you are shutting the fuck up. Got it? Yeah, boss. Of course. Good. Let's go. Pissed off the wrong people, away. Look, at least we kept Siwa alive. Yeah, that may be just what saves us. I'm gonna bump Uncle Paul's cup. But when that does it, it's not fair, you know? Look what I built. The night market. All of North Point, really. The dog guys gets greedy. What was I supposed to do, Hanley Wabe Watanga? Just what you did. But you can't back down from that asshole. You and him got history, huh? Well, me too. Anything, anything happens to me, you look after our people, okay? We're a... We're a family. Family has to stick together. Duke, Conroy, they're good guys. But they're not gonna be leaders. I know Conroy gives you shit. You've proven yourself now. I don't see it. Neither of you doesn't want to admit it. Do me a favor. Look after Peggy and my mom, too. This can be rough business. The one thing we got going for us is each other. Brothers, bro. I know people use that word, bro. but it means something to me. And it should to you too. Not just that we're son of a need. True brothers. Blood. We look after each other. And we look after the people. Okay, Winston. See why told me he really works for Big Smiley, not Dog Eyes. I keep hearing his name. Big Smiley is backing Dog Eyes, sure. That's where he gets the balls to come after me. Lee has a lot of power. Along with drugs, he's in the prostitution. Porn. He even sells women across the border into the rest of Asia. The whole thing is run like an industry. Very sleazy, but big money. Winston, we can't just walk in there. Not if it's as bad as you say. We had a lot of choice. It's the way it's done, Wade. Besides, you can't hide from Uncle Paul. If he wants you dead, you're dead. And I'd rather see it coming, you know? You should be okay. But if I get my ass shot, do not do anything stupid, you hear me? Okay. Who gives a shit? Fuck off, Johnny. Hey, Winston. What's wrong? You look a little pale, man. That dog guy tells me you've been throwing your weight around. What happened? You guys used to be tight as shit. Is he here? Nah, he left a while ago. Without a scratch. Doesn't bode so well for the other parties involved. Go right in. Have fun. Uncle Po. Ah, Winston. Come in. Sit down. Have some tea. And you, young man, must be way. Winston speaks very highly of you. Winston has been a good friend to me. I've tried to do right by him. I like the way you think. That's the attitude that makes us strong. Loyalty, discretion. Used to be more common. Winston says you're the one who made sure Siwa was not arrested. No, it was Winston's idea. He had to assert himself, assert his position, but he didn't want to inconvenience you in the process. Did he now? In any case, you did well. I want to show you my gratitude. Uncle Poe, there's really no need. Don't argue with me. Do you know Roland Ho? He has a business collecting debts. The other day, he told me that he could use some help. It's, uh, 
quite lucrative, you know. <laughs> Tell them I sent you. Winston won't mind in the slightest. Will you? Thank you, Uncle. Winston, 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 relax. I know you were provoked. God damn it. I bet a thousand bucks I was going to be carrying you on a fucking body bag. Uncle Poe must like you. Uh, yeah, I don't think he has an opinion on me either way. All right. I tell you what, you get tired of spinning your wheels in the night market, give me a call. There's more to this business than strong army street vendors. Ricky. Your name's Ricky, right? I appreciate the offer. You know, let me think about it and I'll get back to you. Take the car across the street. Give you a chance to see what it's like to be in the big time. asking. My name's Wei Shen. Ah, Wei. You got friends in high places, my boy. I hear you and Winston have been making trouble with Dog Eyes. Dog Eyes has been asking for trouble. <laughs> I remember when I was like you. Always looking for a fight. Ready to kill anyone who so much as looked at me sideways. Here's a tip for you, kid. Don't take on a boss in your own triad unless you know for a fact someone else is gonna back you up. Hierarchy is the only thing anyone cares about. Always have, always will. <laughs> Thanks for the advice, old timer. So, uh, when can we get to work? Okay, big man. Petsy Wing. Bad luck at Mahjong. You'll need this. Collect what she owes. See a lady about some money. You're gonna pay up, you understand? Shit, that's a lot of muscle.
That's the problem. You old guy like rolling home money, you gotta pay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry! I don't care if you're sorry. I care if you have the money. I, I don't, I'm sorry! Hey, stop saying that. Best thing though, got a car loaded with dope. All right, and I have to do. Bring it back here as soon as you can. Don't drive around in a stashed car any longer than you have to. Raymond. Shed, finally. Where the hell have you been? Look, I, uh... Do you have any idea what's going on? What happened at the warehouse? Raymond, do you ever actually read my reports? Your reports? All I have to do is read the goddamn newspapers. They're calling it a massacre. If it ever came out that the police were involved, we're dead. It won't. Well, you can't know that. You at least, you at least could have turned Siwa over to us. It would have helped our case. That would have put the entire operation at risk. What does Penju say? You know, he's not your handle, Way. I am. Well, then fucking handle it, Raymond. Well, how'd you think this was gonna go down? Huh? Whatever it takes. You remember that? You wanted results, and you can't get them sitting behind a desk, nose in a rule book, with a stick up your ass. Look, Raymond, I am doing what needs to be done. No, no, you've crossed the line, Way. I'm gonna terminate this operation. You can't do that. Pendrew won't allow it. Pendrew may like to take chances. I don't. And you are dangerous. Fine. But before you go back to your office to try and pull the plug, go ahead and tell Pendrew that I just met the chairman of the Sun on Yi. The chairman? <laughs> Wait, you're, you're just a foot soldier. Well, this foot soldier has just been marked for promotion because I made sure Su Wa got out safely. It'll be in my report. And maybe this time you'll actually read it. Chung, he called my phone. What kind of idiot do you think?
trying to learn Kung Fu, but they keep getting clobbered. I thought Sing Fu Park was a great teacher. He is, but he keeps asking me to find him. I found one of your statues. A rabbit. Welcome addition. Ever think about going back to the States? No, it didn't work the first time. Why would it again? And the past goes with you wherever you go. So you will confront the past rather than run from it. Damn straight. I wonder, is the past something we can defeat? Or is it something we simply come to terms with? What would you like to learn? Yeah, he mentioned it the other day. Congratulations. No problem at all, Mrs. Chu. Hello, Wei. Thanks for driving me around. Yeah, no problem. So, where are we going? The flower shop. I still have to pick the color I want. You won't believe how much work it is to get ready for a wedding. We've been planning for eight months now, and there's still so much to be done. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, it better be perfect. My wedding has to be perfect. So, Wei, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> no. My life, it wouldn't be a good idea right now. Your life is why it'd be good. You have to have someone you can be soft with, too, Wei. It's very important. Look out! <laughs> if you say so. I do say so. You are family now, Way. I have to look out for you, just like Winston. After the wedding, I'm gonna find something for you. So how do you get on with Winston's mother? Uh, she's a handful. But, you know, her bark is worse than her bite. That I know. How about her meat cleaver? Ha! That's worse than her bark for sure. No, she used to scare me, but then one day, I was having a problem with Winston. He wasn't paying enough attention to me, too distracted with work. And... Ah! Ever since then, Winston's been an absolute doll. And even though she still yells a lot, I know her heart is in the right place. Well, you're lucky. And my mother never liked my girlfriends. I guess it's hard for the moms. Well... I mean, you know, I used to have a thing for blondes, too, and that drove her crazy. Not enough if I went out with a Chinese-American girl, but, but a whitey? <laughs> well, it's good to know she was loyal to her people. No, she's loyal to her prejudices, more like. That, too?
Here we are. Ah, oh, so good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. I'm here to finalize the details of the flower arrangement. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm just the driver. I'm just gonna change back and then we'll be done. Uh, actually, there is one other thing. Black orchids. This probably sounds silly, but it was my mother's favorite flower. And now that she's gone, I was thinking that I'd love to have a black orchid centerpiece. I'm afraid that's impossible. <laughs> there are none to be found in Hong Kong. Really? Well, I thought they had some down at the Garden Temple. Well, yes, but they're not for sale. The other day, the CEO of Old Boy Trading wanted one for his daughter. He told them they offered Temple $100,000. They still say no. <laughs> it's incredible, no? <laughs> a black orchid at a wedding guarantees that the couple stays together for the rest of their lives. Oh, well, Wei, come on. We can go now. All right, next we need to pick up the wedding cake. So you got a cake picked out? Winston's in charge of that. He knows I'm very particular about cakes, but he promised I wouldn't be disappointed. I'm sure Winston will impress me. It's our wedding after all. <laughs> and your wedding has to be perfect. Now you're getting it. So your mother took you to the States? <sighs> yeah, you know, she loved Hong Kong, but she wanted to give me and my sister a change of scenery. Oh, were you being a bad little boy? <laughs> no, it, it was Mimi, my sister. Growing up in old prosperity, she you know, she started down a particular road and couldn't get off of it. And my mother hoped that moving to San Francisco would shake her up, change who she hung out with, you know? Did it? Yeah, for a while. But some habits die hard, you know? Some don't die at all. I'm sorry, Wei. Winston mentioned that she passed away. I didn't mean to bring it up. Hey! Isn't that a van from the wedding cake company? Hang on. What are you doing? Yeah, the guy, the guy had the wrong address. Winston asked me to make sure the cake is delivered. He's so thoughtful. Wait, slow down. <sighs> Peggy, if we don't catch that van, you won't have your special cake at your wedding. What? Faster, faster, go faster. not pulling over. You're a gangster. Do something. Get out there and get him. Here. Here, take the wheel. Careful, don't hurt my cake. Don't worry. Get that man. Go, go.
Tell Winston I got the key. Wow, that's great. I'll take it right to him. All done. Oh, thank you, Way. Thank you. You know, it makes me think. Uh -oh. <laughs> the wedding just won't be perfect without that organ. We're going to the temple, aren't we? I knew you'd understand. Do you have any family here at all? Uh, no, not anymore. Well, you're wrong, Way. You have family. You have us. Thanks. No, I mean it. I know Winston's work can be rough, but it makes us a family, too. Yeah, I appreciate it. Man needs brothers. Uncles. Sisters, too. To help me with that soft side. Don't laugh. It's very important. You know, I could probably set you up a bit. <laughs> you're a good-looking man. <laughs> Thanks, but, but I'm not looking for anything serious right now. I wouldn't want it to reflect poorly on you. Ah, uh, uh-huh. You're still playing around, huh? Well... Let me know if you ever change your mind. I know some nice girls. Wait here. I'll be right back. say no. Peggy, do you have any Winston's clothes in the back? <laughs> I don't think these robes are gonna make the right impression. What do you think about this? Yeah, sure. gonna be my sister the least I can do is help out with your wedding your mother would be proud of you I hope so now, sometimes I wonder no I can see it life isn't perfect it never is look out Peggy I nope I know women's intuition it's the same with Winston he talks tough but underneath he's a very caring man that's why I love him thanks that's the secret. You do what you have to do, but you always remember your family. Remember the people who love you. Then you'll always be happy. Thanks for being so helpful, Wei. I really appreciate it. Of course. It. Sometimes this wedding thing stresses me out. There's so much to get right, and you only get one try. Don't worry, Peggy. It's gonna be perfect. Oh, it's so nice to find someone you can really rely on. I can see why Winston likes you.
you again soon. Bye-bye. Hey, man. I'm stuck in traffic. I'll get there as soon as possible. Don't worry. There's still time. Don't start without me. I'm so happy you can make it. Congratulations. Peggy, you look stunning. <laughs> Thanks, Wei. <laughs> you both must be very happy. Yes. The best day of your life, <laughs> so they say. You know what? They're right. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. Oh, Uncle Paul, too. welcome. My guest of honor. I'm happy to be here. It's nice to see someone who wants to be a good family man. Not enough of that nowadays. Hi. You look absolutely lovely, my dear. <laughs> Thank you. Almost as lovely as your mother and <laughs> Oh, and this is true. I expect the food to be... Wait, wait. Fantastic. I got a case of the chairman's favorite wine in my car. I forgot to bring it in. Do you mind grabbing in and making sure they know it's for him? I'm going to make sure he gets inside, okay? Yeah, sure thing, Winston. You got to enjoy your day, okay? Where are you parked? Ah, right through there. I'm going, I'm going. Just bring it into the kitchen. Inside. I'll go get help. Winston! Fuck! Oh, shit. 
Peggy. Got another one! Go to the echo! Shit. Hey, hey. I need them here now! Are you okay? Can you walk? What's going on? What happened to Winston? Okay, come on. We gotta get you out of here. Uncle Paul! You're hurt! It's nothing but a little scratch. You look sort of... We gotta get you to a hospital. He's hurt. We need a doctor. Now! What is this? What's going on here? My boy, maybe you'll want to leave before our friends, the police, show up. <laughs> Are you going to take care of my uncle? And if anything happens to him, I'm holding Hello, you police? personally responsible. Oh, thank God. Are we clear? Okay, okay.
Where have you been? Stuck in traffic. It's Hong Kong. Fuck, Raymond. You think showing up for these things is easy for me? I know you've been through a lot, boy. More than we have any right to ask. Now the wedding. It was a massacre, Raymond. A massacre. Winston was a red pole, sure. But his wife, a fucking gunned down his wife on her wedding day. We knew you would become personally attached, Wayne. It's inevitable in an operation like this. And seeing something like that would be hard. Hard for anyone. It's war now. No, it's not. You're a cop, all right? Your job is to enforce the law. You can't remember that? I'll pull you out right now. Pull me out? Your job was to get close to Winston. Now, that's not much of a strategy anymore. Get close to? Open your eyes, Raymond. I am Winston now. With him gone, I'll be taking his place. You want the chairman? I report to him now. You want the Red Poles? I'm one of them. That's what worries me, Way. You're one of them. You want to give up the best undercover HKPD has ever had? Your best shot taking down the sun on Yi? Exactly. We done? Yeah, we're done. Anything happens to me, you look after my people, okay? Peggy, out of here. Winston! He doesn't. 